Hey, Adam here. Want to learn how to create a virtual machine with VMware Workstation Pro? Let's get started. First thing you'll need is a Windows 10 ISO. I will put the link in the description box below. Let's go over to our VMware Workstation. We're going to click create a new virtual machine. We'll select typical, so go ahead and click next. Let's change our installer disk image. We're going to go to the ISO we just downloaded. Go ahead and click next. We'll leave the name the same and the location the same for the time being. I'm going to go ahead and leave this at 60. And I like to store a virtual disk as a single file. Select customize hardware. Let's change the memory to 4096. That'll give us four gigs. Now if we just click on processors, we can see that our two gigs switched to four gigs. We'll leave everything else as is and we'll click close. Go ahead and make sure power on this virtual machine after creation is checked and select finish. Okay, once the virtual machine loads, go ahead and click into it and press the enter key. All right, from here, I'm gonna select all the defaults. So I'll go ahead and select next. We'll select install now. At this point, I'll select, I don't have a product key. I'll select Windows 10 Pro. I accept the license terms because I definitely read all of that. Select custom install, select next and it will start installing the files needed. I'll go ahead and speed up the video at this point. And as you can see, the installation's finishing up, so we'll go ahead and select Restart Now. Okay, now with the setup, let's go ahead and select your country. Keyboard's going to be US. I'm going to skip the second layout. All right, now we'll select Setup for Personal Use. Select Offline Account. Select Limited Experience. Go ahead and give your virtual machine a name. I'm not going to enter a password, so I'll just click Next. And select Not Now. Let's go ahead and turn off all of the tracking telemetry that Windows has. Select Skip here. Not Now, because nobody actually uses Cortana. Actually, if you use Cortana, let me know in the comments below and why you use it, because I don't think I've met anybody who actually uses Cortana. Okay, now as you can see, we're loaded in our Windows 10 virtual machine. And as you can see, there's a display scaling issue, and there's a very quick way to fix this. So we're gonna go up here to the menu, select VM, and install VMware tools. Give that a few seconds and you'll see a pop-up. Go ahead and select that and run setup 64 exe select yes click next do a complete install click next and install and our display issue is now fixed We're going to go ahead and click restart. And you are now loaded into your newly created Windows 10 virtual machine. 
I would suggest you running updates before you access the internet or start surfing the web. You can just close out of this and select check for updates. And if we look at the specs for our PC here, our virtual machine, you'll see that we have a 60 gig virtual machine. And if we bring up the about, you'll see that we do indeed have four gigs of RAM installed. And that's it. You can use your virtual machine to play around and experiment with things, install and test out software without causing issue to your main host computer. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.